BG, 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 BG. Hello everyone, this is how to PG Tech Tutorials. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, set up a free online shop in minutes. Um, today it's going to be 10 minutes, a 10 minute countdown. I'm going to apply a 10 minute countdown for this. Actually, no. Let me give it a 6 minute countdown. Let's count down. Now, what I'm going to be introducing you to is 000 web host and WordPress. 00 web host um, is a web hosting site where you can web post your own domain um, and you can install obviously whatever script or whatever you can make it on website or on that domain it's like a paid domain but it's free um, there is one downside there's one pr um, pro there's one um, pro but what it is is what it is is it's you have your subdomain so it's not dot com it's not dot this it's, it's dot something dot com so it's dot what they choose dot com now so let me give you an example how to pg dot site eleven dot com that's what it might be right now today I'm gonna be um today we need to download WordPress so you wanna download this WordPress the latest you wanna go to WordPress dot org or from Google download WordPress three point two point one now what it's going to do is it's going to come up and um, when you download it it's going to come up as, as a zip file you want to extract it um, or extract the archive using your um, archive extraction utility um, I want WinRAR or WinZip anything will do extract that it will come up as a folder it will come up as WordPress um, folder and what you want to do is you want to um, look for WP config sample you want to open up that once that's open, you can open it in Notepad or whatever. It just comes up the same except for all the colors and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go to um, you want to do is you want to go to your MySQL. And your um, oh, sorry, I have, I have to show you how to make your account. What you do is you make your you go to this www.web00webpost.com. You go to sign up, you make your little account, then you go back you click to it will come up as this you you log in then you go to members area and this is what it will show all your domains you want to create a new domain enter the domain name as I said the subdomain um choose a password um once you choose the password and password it will come up as this it will build it and then once and you refresh it once it's active you want to go to control panel this is all your details for your database for your um domain now, you're, now what you want to do is you want to go to MySQL. You want to type anything in there, well, anything relevant to what your site is. I typed um, WP stands for WordPress. WP again, short for WordPress, and the password for my account. Don't have to. Doesn't have to be the password for your account, but yes, you can do the password for your account because you might forget it. And if you forget it, then it's a long procedure. You have to delete the database, I think, and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, or you, I think you can change the password there. Oh, that's great. So you can change the password for your database. Just click the little thing. I just found out now. <laughs> right now, enter the password. It gives you your database information. Now, this is what you're going to be using. So this is your database name. This is your MySQL username. This is your MySQL database host name. Now, your database name is want to go. You want to insert it in between these two. In, in between these two little um. Close on here. You wanna put it. You wanna put it in that boundary there. Put it in between the markers. Um. So, as an example, wanna copy and paste that. Stick it in there. Database name. Copy and paste your username. Stick it in them two markers there. You know. You know, and obviously type your password there. I'm not gonna do it now. I've done it. Cause I don't need to obviously see my password for security ways reasons. Um, copy and paste your host name and type it in DB host short for database host now when you've done that you need to put unique phrases in each of these I made it something unique to me I just cop I just done one I just copied and pasted them each so they're all the same thing so um, obviously if I want to do it now I'll put how to PG how to PG how to PG all down to there and once you've done that you want to go to file 
and you want to save it as and you want to save it in that folder as WP config. Take out the sample on the dash WP dash config short for WordPress configuration. Save that and then once you that's your configuration file. Now you want to go back to your folder, your main directory where your WordPress is. Look at your folder. And you want to rename it as shop. So I already rename mine as shop, and these are all my files. As you can see, my WP configuration is there. So what I need to do now, I need to right click that. I want to add to archive. I want to, I want to, I want to make an archive, and I make that archive a zip archive and name it whatever you want. So you can remember whatever. I mean, it just named itself as shop. So now I've got shop there. Lovely. I've uploaded that. You, what you want to do is you want to go to your back. Go back to your control panel. You want to go to file manager. Once you click that, it brings this up here. Um, this how this is how it will look. Um, without shop, it won't look like it will have public dot um underscore HTML. This is where you upload all your files into your website don't upload as you can see so do not upload here don't upload here it won't show up so click publication on this is now your site now I've uploaded shop to upload it gonna click you wanna click shop and you wanna upload an archive from here sorry my time is up um don't worry about that but anyway um you wanna go to um, archive and you want to open up your archive which is shop or whatever uh, upload that it will upload it might give you some inf um, some coding errors but you just click um, refresh or continue and it shows up in your directory now now I'll show you the reason why I named that shop now this is what you want to type in you want to type in your domain name in my case this is my domain name you're going to type in shop now if this was wordpress you would see you'd have to type in wordpress but now i've named it renamed it shop i can just simply type in shop um and then wp wp dash admin and then forward slash install.php now it should bring me this up here and that gives you a sat title I'm gonna make it how to PG tutorial or tut um username admin password doesn't matter if it's weak or whatever if you want your password to be that then it can be that your email address let's do that now there you go success has been installed now you want to do is log in enter your login information right now you're into your wordpress dashboard now we've got to this key step i need to explain what we to and explain to you what wordpress is wordpress is a blogging platform that you can use upon your website hosting um, domain now as you can see I've just manually installed WordPress if you want to install it if your domain server um domain provider um, has this auto installer